What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I'm going to start a new little series about hacking the game Cuphead, which is notoriously difficult, really awesome art style. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to pick one or two things to focus on each episode. And uh, yeah, so we'll just jump right in here. So first off, if you don't have Cheat Engine installed, go to CheatEngine.org. Download it, install it, make sure you read your installation prompts when you're installing it because it installs other things if you don't opt out. So make sure you read that. Um, so once you've installed Cheat Engine, go ahead and start it up. And once you do that, bring it over here to this monitor. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cold, so sorry if I'm coughing in your ear. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open the game process with this. So, uh, you know, I click that button there, look for Cuphead in your processes, or you can click Windows here and look for Cuphead like this. All right. And now once you're attached, um, I'm going to look for hit points first. So let's go ahead and first assume that this will be just a four byte value of three. Let's start with that. Uh, we'll go for a scan. All right. And now I will get attacked by an enemy. All right. Now I'm at two. So we'll change that to two. Click next scan. Okay. See how there's some red numbers here. That means there's some values that are changing. So you can go to um, unchanged value because our health value is still two. It is unchanged. So these things that are changing are probably not our health. So we can click that a bunch of times. Try to weed stuff out. You can come back in the game, unpause it, pause it again, click next scan with this unchanged value, you know, so long as you didn't get hit there. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and get hit again. Actually, I saw a bunch of stuff change. So as long as you can see a bunch of things change like that and your value you're interested in has not changed, um, you can keep whittling your results down farther and farther. So unchanged value. All right, now I'm going to get hit. All right, now I'm down to one. Click exact value from scan type. Next scan. All right, now we have four values here. This is typically good enough for you to bring down all four. And then you can select them all and say change record uh, or just, I'm sorry, toggle selected records. This tries to lock the value. So you can do that. Try locking them to see if whenever you get hit again, if your value stays the same. Um, or one thing I like to do is just select them all, right click, uh, change record value. I'm going to change it to three, which is what our health started as. So let's see what our health is now when we go back in the game. All right, still says one, but what happens when we get hit? All right, it's two. So it did take our value back up to three. We got hit, then it updated on the screen. So we were at three, now we're at two. So one of these values is our health. Um, and since this one did not change whenever we changed to three, we can get rid of that one. And uh, I'm just going to try to change this one to four, see what happens here, get hit. All right, that is the one. So this would be good enough for you to be able to just click this, which locks the value. And perhaps we can get hit. And yep, it's just staying at two. So I'm not dying. But if you want to create a cheat that's a little more permanent, so you don't have to search for this every time. Now what you can do is on this one here, which we've identified is our health. We can go ahead and delete these two if you want. Right click and say find out what writes to this address. This will ask if you want to attach the debugger. Say yes. <coughs> Excuse me. You get a window that comes up here. If your game crashes whenever you try to do this, then what you'll need to do is um, make sure you're not uh, you don't have the game process open with Cheat Engine, so you would just start up Cheat Engine, go to Edit, Settings, and Debugger Options, and you want to 
toggle this, use VEH debugger. You probably have use Windows debugger by default. So once you toggle that and you click OK, then you can click this and attach to Cuphead. Um, and then everything should be fine for you. All right, so now what we're going to do is find the instruction that tells the game, all right, you just got hit, take away your health. So we're going to find that instruction and we're going to modify it. So here we go. Two things popped up here. Um, and as you'll note, I did untoggle this. So if you still have the X there, you may or may not have seen these things pop up. All right, so we have two options here. Um, you could test either one. I'll just start with the first one, assuming that this instruction ran before this one, which you can verify by looking at the number here and see if it's lower than this one. So this instruction did run first, so presumably if we do something with this one, it will also affect whatever this one does. So let's click on that and let's click Show Disassembler. And here you get your disassembler up. Um, and for this game, we can see that the instruction that ran before this one is right here. DEC, E-A-X. D-E-C stands for decrement. So because we see that E-A-X here is being moved into our memory address, which this is our value. This is the memory address that it's in. So the game is decrementing e the value in EAX, which is decreasing it by 1. And then it's moving that value into the memory address. So presumably what we can do here is just right-click on this and say replace with code that does nothing. All right, And now if we do that and come back in the game, um, we should see that our health does not decrease. <clears throat> All right, so we're good there. So that's the first part of what we're interested in doing here. We've basically given ourselves um, infinite health now, at least for the scenario that we've tested, because sometimes other enemy attacks or different enemies can go through a completely different uh, path of execution. Um, and, you know, so you only identify all those by testing a lot. But anyway, for the time being, this looks like it's going to be what we want. So you can right click on that line that we changed and click restore with original code. And now what you can do is while you have this line selected, you can click tools, auto assemble. All right. And then when this pops up, you can click template, AOB injection, just say okay here. And here you can put something like INF health. You don't have to. You can just keep what was there if you want. All right. And now um, we are in this templated auto assemble script here. All right. So this is the instruction that's running that decrements health. So all that we need to do is add two slashes like that right in front of that DEC. So you do that. All right. And once you do that, click File, Assign to Current Cheat Table, and then click Close. Don't click Execute. If you click Execute, it'll work. It'll do whatever you wanted it to do, but then it's basically going to be stuck like that for you. So um, just close it after you have added it here, All right, and you'll see it pop up on this list here. And now you can rename that to something like Infinite Health. All right. You can delete this address if you want. We'll stop this, close it. You can close this if you want, but I'm going to keep it open and show you that once we activate the script, what changes here. Um, so check this box. All right. Sometimes it can take a second, depending on how fast or slow your computer is. You see this instruction changed to this. All right. Now you can right-click on this JMP and say follow. And that's going to go to a place in memory where our code injection is that is in our script here. So basically, we just commented out the one instruction that would decrease our health. And so now, 
it just keeps moving whatever our health is back into the memory address so it never decreases and then we can jump back to the spot next point in execution um, so I'm gonna turn that off and something additional that you can do uh, well actually before I talk about any of that you can go to file <clears throat> save as and then you can save this script to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to and then the next time that you want to use it um, you would start up the game cuphead you would start cheat engine and then you could say file load and then you look for the cheat table that you saved that'll load it it'll load all your stuff here and then you can uh, reopen the game's process um, yeah so that's how you do that now if you want to actually change your health this will be a little more advanced for probably a lot of you but you can double click here on your script to reopen it and you can do things you know other stuff if you want so what we can do is find the address that our health is in to make it to where we can manually change it if we want so if you don't know what's going on here don't worry about it you don't have to do any of this at all if you're not interested in it if you are you can just follow along and repeat what I'm doing um, but for those of you who are super interested in this here you go um, so what we're gonna do is do a global alloc which does the same thing as alloc except it also registers the symbol so we're gonna global alloc um, health Addy and we're just gonna say four so health Addy is gonna be the name of the variable that we're gonna store where our player base is so that we can find health the health offset which is offset 60 from the address that's in EDI this is a pointer for those of you who might know something about pointers so basically the register EDI has an address in it a memory address and then we're saying an offset of 60 from the address in there do something with that right so for here this global alloc um, you know we've created this variable named health addy um, we've allocated four bytes of memory to that and now what we can do is say health addy dd zero so that we just initialize the variable um, and now what you can do is go down to the bottom here and first we can so whenever we disable the script this is going to deallocate the memory for that variable that we have set or for that memory address um, and then we can also unregister the symbol all right so basically this global alloc keeps us from having to say alloc and then register symbol health addy that's basically all it does <clears throat> all right so now that we've specified that and we have initialized it um, now what we want to do is right here we want to move into the address that uh, health addy is allocated wherever that is we want to move into that EDI right so at this point in execution in this subroutine EDI has a memory address in it and that's what we're moving that actual number that address into the memory address that we have allocated here so what this allows us to do is reference health addy here as an address so we can say health addy plus 60 we're doing 60 because we saw in the script uh, let's just say uh, health okay you can click and drag that here beneath the script just to keep it tidy so we know that 60 is the offset where health is so 
our address here is going to have the same thing as this register EDI. All right. So now we can say OK. And now when we enable this, we come back into the game here. All right. See this too? This is our health. This is the address that has our health. So now we could change this to, let's say, 4. And we got hit. You saw how it went back up to 3. 3 is as high as it will go. So it basically, I don't know if later in the game your health goes higher, but for now it's 3. It'll stay at 3. Uh, if for some reason you actually wanted to make it to where the script didn't give you infinite health, but you wanted this address, um, you could, one thing you could do is don't deallocate that memory address. If you keep it allocated, then you could disable the script, um, and actually you could keep the symbol registered too. So this would make it to where when you disable the script, health addy still exists in memory, so this reference will still be good. That's one thing you could do. The other thing you could do is just uncomment this and let it act as normal. And it'll still give you all the stuff that you want with showing you the address, where that is. Um, this isn't necessarily the most helpful example in terms of what you would do with health, but you might want to do this with something like coins um, or some other value in another game. You know, um, so just so that you're aware of that. All right, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this first episode. Um, and in the next one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Maybe coins and the cards that let you do the super shots or whatever um, whenever you attack. So anyway. Um, that video will probably be available by the time you watch this, if not soon thereafter. So make sure to check out the playlist that I'm going to have set up for this game. And uh, make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. Check out some of my other videos. And um, I'll just talk to you guys soon in the next video. Take care.